So for those who don't know me, I actually come from an architecture academic background and I'm always looking into what sort of new technology is available. And therefore I found Mezzo on the crowdfunding campaign and I successfully received it and reviewed it and I passed it on to my colleague. He really likes it and so on. So uh, Mezzo wanted me to review their upgraded version called Mezzo 3D. So what we have here is the full package. Uh, so to start with on my left hand side on top, we got the Mezzo 3D Alpha Test Demo Unit. Below that is the 3D adapter uh, for Mezzo 3D. So to be able to do 3D, you need the uh, adapter as well. All right, so this big one is the tripod case, I believe. So we're gonna show you um, how it looks like inside. Uh, so on the bigger box here is another tripod and the lastly this is the uh, protection kit for the meso itself so i just wanted to show you how important all these kits are by doing the unboxing and i'll show you how it works so enough said let's get into the unboxing here it goes all right so let's start with the meso 3d unit shall we nice so the good old meso is here so just to zoom in, that's how it looks like. We all know that this actually measured the length as well. That's really, that's really handy by the way. I love that part and the bit that sticks out. This is the Measure 3D adapter. This one slides this way, okay. Nice. Whoa, look at that. So this is like a reference point. It's like a card. Oh, that's it seems to be some sort of like a joint, isn't it? That's where Mezzo will fit. And that's the lever. All right, so you twist it and there's the snap here. So that's something we're gonna find out how exactly how it works later on. Nice. So I believe this actually fits in here so that you can actually adjust it very carefully. So it's a nice handle. Next one is this bag called Mezzo, the future of measure. So if we were to open it up, that's the strap joins here and there high quality tripod here look at that it has meso logo on it and that is really stiff and properly made actually i have to say wow so that's very well fixed properly fit and i think if you all oh, right so if you twist it it also extends as well all right twist and you extend it okay we've got another box here so this is basically a protractor kit description on what how it works another opening up and then these are all these it's like a sword fight sound you know all these measurements units are here next one is the meso protection kit all right so we got th four parts here so that's where you put the bottom side i think isn't it inside that there's also these tiny screws that you could actually use that's for the wheeling side so this is for the screen protector we got the silicon case as well also the silicon strap as well so that'll be more handy i know many surveyors out there will agree with me that you spend a lot of time looking for your laser device you just need this simple case that clips into your belt and you can actually plug it in and out every single time we're going to put the protection so that's all nicely done and dandy so nicely screw that final piece in so that goes in there nicely got nice feeling of silicone here like that and you close it in and lastly we got the expert kit that i actually referred as the tripod another nice logo there that's quite cool basically a tripod now just love that opening the way how it's quite settled and this one is the extension side isn't it so you can extend like that. I guess that's the case where you can actually put in all your power units or any tools. So that tiny leftover screw goes into this bag here along with the screwdriver, the spare wheel along with the USB-C cable. Put your mezzo here. Put this belt clip here and the silicone cover here and close it you're all good to go so as you can see i'm using the tripod from the expert kit that is actually attached to the meso 3d adapter where meso sits on i'm using the advantage of the height of the desk here because i believe by using this height is the most adequate um, height to measure the overall shape of this room just so you know this room is actually two oblong shape 
attached to each other where it's about 25 degree angled um, and we do actually have a perpendicular shape on one end and one or the other as well but unfortunately we're actually hidden by the kitchen unit on that side but we can actually get a perfect shape from this side now um, the good thing about the having the um, meso 3d adapter is that you can easily scroll through the menus um, by actually moving here and just moving it around like that other than uh, the screen um, touch. So uh, the two 3D features that has been added that I believe is the point scanner and the curve scanner. So we're going to first try out the uh, point scanner. But before we get into that, make sure you actually turn on the Meso um, app. Once we select the point scanner, it's also going to ask me to um, then um, calibrate the height so once you place it it's actually going to show the picture of it but make sure that these two blue bubbles actually sit on the right moment it's all calibrated but before we get into this they, they got this really interesting feature where if you take this out this is actually a holder I would say and this actually allows it to make it perpendicular line that goes throughout. This is very useful indeed. It took me a while to understand, but once I understood, it just makes so much sense. But we're just going to explore without it. Um, now it's all calibrated. So it's asking me to do the first measurement. So for your benefit, I'm going to do first the door here. I don't know where you can see from the camera there, but um, yeah, the edge of that door first. And then it says rotate. So we're going to do the first point of measurement. And then here, so you can see that the flower itself is actually kind of avoid like being a bit of an obstacle. So I could use the uh, Pythagoras logic by actually adjusting the height slightly more because 3D adapter is helping me to get the three, the same measurements. Okay. So clicking on that, I got the right line here. And then again, the plant itself is actually blocking it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to make it higher measurement, but still the um, Pythagoras law is applied from the 3D adapter. It doesn't matter because it's going to do the same measurements here. So click on that. That's very good. And then I'm going to do the edge of that solid partition there. Very good. And then I'm going to use the window here. I'm going to do the other edge of the window and the end of the window. So that's the funny angle we're talking about here. And then let's do the, um, the edge of that kitchen unit here. So I got, I got that there, press that. So that's very good. And then, well, the edge of that wall there. Then we're going to try the edge of the kitchen, uh, sorry, the we're going to try the edge of the fridge and then that return. And then we're going to come to the edge of that door. And lastly, the first point that we began. Okay, so that's all measured and we're going to actually put that onto the mobile phone um, by placing it, pressing the Bluetooth button there. There we got it. We got the actual overall line of this room that I'm standing on, which is really good. So after three or four minutes of point scanning, because that's more reliable than the curve scanning, I managed to transfer that data into my Meso app. So I can now see the actual points that is highlighted into circle as well. And then now you need to go to the element and choose the door. So if you put in the door, we all know that it's that way and opening this way. So now I could put it there and then now we're going to put windows, which is actually those two angles in there. So you just need to press the window. The window doesn't open technically. So I just need to put one there. And then it actually asked me to uh, decide the height. So I reckon that's about 900 mil. That's actually starting from the ground level. Um, actually it's on this one. And then it needs to also be the rest is about um, 1.8 because I know the whole um, ceiling height is about 2.7 uh, meters. So that has actually been done. And then I need to put another window, which is uh, the one next to it. And then also do the same thing, which is the height of um, that starts from the ground level of 900 
and then the rest of the height that goes up to the ceiling of 1.8 and then press done and then unselect now the rest is the wall so i think you got you can actually choose the default line and then you go to the element and you change that to wall so that's what i need to do and that's pretty much done so now what you need to do is on the bottom left so bottom of the center uh, we got the um, 3D logo on it. So let's press that 3D logo. It's actually going to ask you the actual height of the whole place. Overall, it's 2.7 meters, as I mentioned earlier on. So if I press that and go, you're going to get a lovely uh, 3D model here that actually highlights approximately where the door is and also the window as well. So something about the window, I must have not labeled it properly on the um, on the second window but you get the idea here anyway so you get the overall feel of how the 3d looks like by simply using the app this way and i, I guess you can do this th same thing for 3d um, the curve scanner but um, i think when it comes to the actual straight line shape like this you need to actually do the point scanner so that's pretty much it for the actual 3D image and that's pretty cool I would say but unfortunately we can't actually get the seal details and that's something we need to think about how much of the details can you put it on a 3D would be another question but then again um, when you actually do do the 2D floor plan you actually do start with the outer wall first anyway so that's something we need to look further into. So I just measured the corridor next door. So if I were to combine that with my early on measurement, I just need to press the Bluetooth and let's transfer that file. And then it says import. So you can see that shape is that actually shown. So let's import that as well. So you can see that all of a sudden, this one is actually now combined with the um the room that we're actually standing on at the moment so this could actually be combined two together so that you could carry on with the next door and the next door room and so on so you can actually start to build up the overall shape of the whole building so now we're on a bigger screen of the z43 this could actually move around it's actually on a group so i need to make sure i rotate it in the right angle so pretty much where the door is, is um, this area here, okay? So that needs to basically move around and make sure that the door fits right here. So then we gotta then angle it properly and then push it over a bit so that it fits right here. So if you then untouch, that's exactly the passageway of what I just measured, okay? So if we press the 3D button, we all know that the ceiling height is 2.7 uh, millimeters. So if we go, then that's exactly how it looks like the place where I actually dwell on. So that was the actual uh, room that I'm actually filming at the moment. And that is pretty much the passageway exactly how it is so I'm really impressed with all those details that you can see those um, perpendicular lines here and there and we got a funny sort of passageway here so that's pretty much it well done for that so when team Hoso design approached me asking whether I'll be interested to review the Mesos 3d adapter I actually thought that I'm only going to receive the 3d adapter but they were kind enough to send the expert kit and also the proper tripod as well that both contains the tripod and I was thinking why with all this um, extra thing I know they're being very generous but once I start to use the actual device with the 3d adapter and the tripod it made so much sense in other words rather than them focusing on the software upgrade uh, they have actually focused on the hardware to say how they could improve the software overall experience as well so that's a really well thoughtful process here because as someone who's actually been in this field in nearly 20 years i could exactly see where they're coming from because hoso's 
uh, concept about this meso is supposed to be about this 3D rotation that has appeared guy like me. That's something that I really want from a laser measure as an upgrade. And they, they actually carefully thought about how can that achieve. And they actually thought about this 3D adapter that actually used the Pythagoras uh, logic so that when you actually go through a straight line, when you see a, an unavoidable object, you could actually tilt it upwards to make it the same distance of a line measure and then carry on. That's exactly what I, someone like myself would not come up with, but with expert of the Hoso design team, they have managed to pull it off. And um, it looks and it works very well indeed. And it's very compact design if you look into the whole perspective of this thing and the software itself is very promising indeed. I actually do need to learn a bit more on how to um, put in the actual windows. There's also the staircase and all these details that you can put into as well, which is very, very interesting indeed. But um, if you actually think about it, someone would, if someone asked me to measure this space, I need to draw the outline on a single piece of paper or my Remarkable 2, and then I need to start doing laser, laser measurements. And that's gonna probably take me about at least 10 to 15 minutes minimum. But if you actually use the, um, Mesos 3D, not only you will get the outline within um, less than four minutes of based on my experience, you will also get a, almost like a 3D effect um, result as well. So that's really well done. So I wanna send a huge compliment for Hoso Design Team, well done for coming up with this uh, really great um, hardware um, upgrade to be able to achieve a better 3D um, effect. So I hope this video clarified the upgrade part of the 3D function that uh, Meso can produce. But the rest of the Meso function, you could also check it out from my previous video and so on. But if you have any queries, um, I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So please do comment below. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.